preserving our beautiful coral reefs and marine ecosystems to helping address the giant challenge of how to preserve our global shark population, I am pleased to bring to the stage Andre Burrell, who is the CEO of Shark Stop. Welcome, Andre. Shark. <laughs> it probably sent a shiver down your spine, it might have made your heart drop. If not the word, then possibly the image. And you're not alone. Ever since, uh, it, it, sharks have been villainized uh, and feared ever since the release of the 1975 documentary, Jaws. <laughs> Jokes aside, and Hollywood exaggerations aside, this is how the world views sharks. Monsters, murderers, man-eaters. This is how, how I view sharks. This is a big, beautiful four-meter tiger shark in the Maldives called Big Mama, and that's me spending some time with her. They're curious, they're cautious, they're nature's perfectly refined apex predators, and they keep the whole of the ocean's ecosystems in check. They are vital. I feel a lot more safe around Big Mama than I do around a lot of people, let me tell you. <laughs> Having said that, they do make, make mistakes from time to time. Very few, considering the hundreds of millions of people that play and work in the ocean every day, but it does happen. The response to those incidents is fear. Sharks get a disproportionate amount of media coverage when a, when a shark bite incident do, does happen. Over 40 stories will run in a single, po single publication, far outweighing any other, pretty much any other in incident that can take place. That fear drives headlines like this. Nothing too crazy there. This, cull or be killed. Even this one, will it take this? It's kind of out of frame, but uh, there's been a shark fin photoshopped in there chasing some kids. And if you think I'm making it up, I'm not. That's the actual headlines. The government response to these incidents and this fear that is whipped up is this, shark culling. Trying to make a coastline safe by killing every single shark that happens to swim by that area, be it by hooks or by nets. And it's not just sharks either, it's whales, turtle, turtles, dolphins, you name it. Animals are brutally slaughtered in the name of trying to keep beaches safe, and it's not even effective. So the challenge is how do you protect people, but also protect planet ocean? And that's where our founder and our inventor came up with this, a patented fabric, composite fabric, which is part bite-resistant textile, part normal standard neoprene that you'd see in a normal wetsuit, that is extremely resistant to shark bites. We launched with this fabric with two wetsuits de designs, a surf and a, and a, and a dive wetsuit uh, via Kickstarter, uh, and sold, within 48 hours, sold uh, a quarter of a million dollars worth of wetsuits. In 2024, we're planning to expand that range, and also there's a fabric licensing play that we're looking to explore to work with other wetsuit manufacturers as well and protect as many people as we possibly can. Does it work is the big question. So here's a box plot showing some testing. Uh, it far outperforms the control, which is neoprene, normal neoprene, in terms of the amount of puncture required to get through the fabric. When a, when a shark tooth does get through the fabric, uh, it's only very minor. All the damage was classified as either minor or superficial, uh, where it's either severe or catastrophic with the control. And that means we can stop blood loss and stop people dying when a, mis when a shark does make a mistake. Now, box plots are pretty boring, so I thought we'd play a video as well. This is some topside footage and some underwater footage. That orange block there is a block of our fabric with a bunch of tuna guts and things in there to get the shark interested, as well as a pressure plate to measure the bite force. You can see it's giving a pretty good bite and a pretty good shake. Pretty much pinholes, can't even get a finger through. That's normal neoprene. So those bites, those rips, also rip through to your leg, rip, rip through to your femoral artery, and that is catastrophic blood loss, which is usually what leads to shark bite fatalities. Now, videos are good, but a real-life demonstration is even better. <laughs> so I don't have a shark handy, but I do have a knife. I do have a knife, so pretty sharp dive knife here. I'll do it on my leg as well. <laughs> this is the reaction I was hoping for, thank you. 
So it's not the perfect anal analog for a shark, but it's pretty good. It's the best I can do here. This is what the media has to say. They absolutely love it. It's, it's, a fantastic, it's a fantastic product with really strong scientifically driven results. And here's just some of the headlines that, that this fabric has generated already. And most importantly, here's what customers say. And here's what it all boils down to. What we're doing here is we're helping people to enjoy the ocean more and to fear less. And by doing that, we can create more ocean advocates and more people that stand up for Planet Ocean. Come and see us over at the Startup Zone. Thank you very much.